Oh, viewers. I'm not, I'm not going to be promoted. It's not going to happen. I've, I've, I'm coming to peace with it. What I am going to do is win the FA Cup. Welcome back to FC Thames. It's troubling times. Folks, welcome back to the episode. I did promise it. I would say I said we would play Everton today, and that's what we're gonna do. And we've got our game in hand in the league against Bolton Wanderers. Bolton Everton, it's like being in the Premier League. I play Sunderland after that as well. It gets even more exciting. So two big games back to back, and I say the FA Cup third round tie at home against Everton. Can we do the impossible? We're gonna try and figure out a way to do just that. Since we last met then, um we obviously beat Lane Orient in the last game. Uh, Plymouth were beaten in the southern section third round of the EFL trophy. Up, up the boys come on uh, and then south end beat us one nil so we're eighth and getting into the playoffs now and if we don't beat bolton it ain't looking very good so let's waste no time let's get into this game then running through the team for said game uh, you can see we've got a bit of a situation uh, quite a few players injured suspended or in need of rest which isn't ideal for us at all um those five players have all got the potential to be starters for us so as i say not ideal uh, ford then will be in goal for this one him and concannon concannon's got a, like quite a high average rating but ford just seems to play at a more consistent level so um yeah, we're going to keep him in there uh, concannon got some really high average ratings in some games and that has massively expanded what is quite an average season for him. Um, we've got Guard, Ralph, Russell and Blake at the back. We've got uh, Fitzpatrick and Barras in the centre. This central role is quite challenging. Like him and McKinney are the options. Uh, neither of them are very good defensively. Mentally, though, Barras is far better. So we're going to go with him. Uh, Cooney one side. We've got Stone on the other with Ollie and Cabbage up front. We've got for a, a, a poacher advanced forward partnership. I'm hoping these two can do the business. I've used a, po a poacher advanced forward partnership uh, in my Twitch save. So I'm hoping that that can replicate here with Cabbage and with Ollie. Let's find out. Bolton, first up. Do you know what I'm wearing today, folks? A little bit of a throwback. Diego. Diego. Oh, remember when I used to use the harmonica? They were good times, weren't they? If you didn't watch Glory Hunter, a save where I have to try and win everything, um, you'll have missed this. There you are, look. Impressive, isn't it? Play Billy Joel's Piano Man, if you're interested. I, mean, I know the game against Bolton's going on, but what would you prefer? Again, I said we'd be doing more musical interludes, so any chance to bring back the musical instrument as Cabbage goes close. I won't do the whole thing, but just know I can do it. If Billy Joel is watching, <laughs> bloody hell. He's probably not. Um, he, he stopped watching after Palmer for whatever reason, so was annoyed it wasn't Vienna. What can you say? Uh, ball played in. Stone's there. Oh, my goodness me. Chances galore so far from the boys. Uh, we're starting on attacking. I do think, again, front foot football from us, hopefully. Um, it's not going to be too... Look, sometimes it's a little bit open as that ball has been launched forward. Um, as this, as it's launched straight back, this is some some lovely... I was going to call it non-league-esque football, but it's... Um, yeah, I mean, it's League One football. It's quite similar to that as well. So Fitzpatrick's on it. He goes across to Barras. That passing ability towards Oli. It's been cut out. And now they've got an extra man. And if the run's good, we are in, we're in some bother here. He's running himself, though. Chuck Wu, a player that we, we seem to face off against a lot as Ford consistently saves. That's why he's in the team. We've got a throw in. I'm at, the, I'm at the point now, 27 minutes in, where I'm not sure being attacking is, is the way forward as Ford does well. Um, now, what we want him to do here, really, is, is launch it towards Cabbage. Cabbage flicks it on. And Ollie is in. As he as Cabbage flicks it on, and Ollie is, is in. It's a goal. I mean, I pr that couldn't have gone much better, if I'm honest. Um... That is, li well, you hurt, I guess, I mean, why Why not, viewers? I mean, come on, we're having a... It's a party atmosphere. Flicked on by Cabbage. Ollie's in on goal. Uh, and Ollie scores. If they just do that against Everton, we're going to be cruising. And below, for as much as we like below, he's not necessarily the same aerial presence that Cabbage is. So maybe, again, against Everton, it's, it's a different kind of threat for them to face. Our midfielders, though, aren't quite complete enough. Barras, McKinney, the pair of them, even Renatino, right? They're not quite at the level, I don't think. And that's probably a position that in the future we're going to have to hopefully fix as that shot and effort goes pretty close and then we clear it away all right there's a minute left at the end of the first half of this first game of today's episode it's launched high out to the right hand side we're missing ellison really paul ellison is a very good right winger for us as that ball towards cabbage 
Um, well, hang on a minute here. They've oh, blimey. Sometimes they stop, and you can uh, you can get in on those sorts of those sorts of bits of poor control. A stone now on the left hand side. Cabbage towards the centre on the penalty spot. He was for a moment there. A stone gets it back. The shot goes towards Cooney. Oh my word! The keeper scrambling across the goal ended up in in, in row B, I think, of the of the, of the uh, stand behind. Uh, Bolton nil. Thames one. It's been it's been an interesting game really. We've had more possession. Our passes have been far better. But in terms of chances and shots taken, uh, Bolton all over us. Right, second half. Not much to change, really. Performance-wise, no one's below a 6 point... I was going to say 6.7, but then Guard on a 6.5 at right back, not having his greatest game uh, for us currently, as the ball forward is not particularly good. And now Russell, can he do something with it? Very cultured defender is Russell, out towards Cooney. Uh, and he's got some players around him, but he takes too long to Wells on it. Ralph steps forward and heads that ball forward. Uh, Stone into Fitzpatrick back to Stone you can see options are well, wide for both left and right sided options guard plays it inside to Barras oh he's offside surely Cabbage puts it in the back of the net but no that's not going to count the assistant with his flag up still 1-0 you can see we're one point off the playoff. This is where every team will have played their 30 games. Of course, there's 16 left to go. Oh, forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it. Andrew Spires has put it in and it's Bolton 1, Thames 1. Devastation. I don't know. The problem is I've got the threat of the two up front, right? I've got the wire players and then the problem comes from not having enough, again, in those central areas. Now, one of the options for us is to take one of the strikers off and bring someone to play in behind i think what we'll do is we'll move ollie out to that side it's not something i like doing but i think i want extra support around Co uh, cabbage uh, stone and cooney both struggling for a little bit of fitness now that is actually a bit of a problem for us here i don't necessarily have someone that can play oh no we've got the uh we've got the oliver burke situation haven't we so that's gonna that uh, was burke oliver blake oliver burke's an actual footballer not in this game uh mckinney's gonna come in for cooney and that's how we're gonna shape things up just change it around a little bit mckinney's gonna go further back barras is gonna be the playmaker in behind cabbage as uh, i've not paused the game so this could have been dramatic but a little change up in system still trying to get the pace of ollie involved in moves of course giving cabbage a little bit more support as fortunately for us there they run over the ball for some reason four uh, has got it then again cabbage still the focal point having players around him but this time actually drops it a little deeper ollie picks it up as he as he cuts inside as he's prone to do especially on that left foot look at this from ollie wonderful stuff the shot though let's call it misguided which i think is kind bolton one thames one and about 10 minutes to go again we're on positive do we go back to more attacking to try and steal this at the end of the game go slightly more direct i think maybe with our passing the tempo is already pretty high Again, getting it towards Cabbage as that. Is they're going to keep this in? But, oh my word, they've messed it up. Cabbage, Barras, big chance. Oh, you, you, you've embarrassed yourself there. Your sister, Emma, she's going to be furious as well. This is one of those games that I don't necessarily think there's going to be a winner in it. Both teams, it's, the game is so even. XG-wise there, especially with that chance, we could have maybe done something. Um, in a bizarre twist, I'm just going to change those two boys around. Cabbage has never played right wing. But for the, the last two minutes, on the off chance that Ollie races through... It doesn't happen. It's a 1-1. One, one. It's not the perfect preparation for Everton, but we've not lost. So I guess there's that. You can see our XG there motoring. All right, boys. Well done. I mean, it's an away point. Um, stops the run of defeats. So that's good. I mean, they're, they're loving it. Fantastic result. It's defended well. Attacked well. Just a brilliant all-round performance. It's a 1-1 one, one drawing. It's the team in 17th. I mean... If that's all it takes, boys, I don't have to do much here, do I? The reality is, of course, I, and it's, I find it very easy to forget this, we're a newly promoted side battling against sides that have been relegated from a very competitive championship. I shouldn't really be too negative on myself. And finishing seventh would be a real like, plus point this season. I, I've sort of touched on this before. If we were to be promoted this year... It is so painfully early that it would be like we might end up back in League Two after a couple of seasons. Oh, good, they can't find the senior affiliate. If, they, if only there were clubs bigger than us in the world. Basically, every club. All right, Everton coming up next. There's no real time for rest and recovery here. I'm a little bit concerned that some of my players, that some of them were in need of rest beforehand, will need it again. Of course, there's no loan restrictions in this game against Everton. Um, they are having a middling Premier League season, of course, as well. Worth it, we're in a January period. I'm not going to do anything right now for that. Of course, we will probably do something afterwards, uh, after this game especially, to try and maybe move some th some things around. Again, central midfield-wise, we've been talking about it. It might be worth doing at this stage. It wasn't really. I wasn't really thinking about it all that much until very, very recently. So, yeah, some moves have to be made. As uh, a custom house, then, it's AFC Thames versus Everton. The game is off because of a waterlogged pitch. Are you kidding? This is the main event of today's video. All right, so what they've done is they've pushed back the Sunderland game, and it's it's now in a week's... Well, I've got more time to rest, haven't we? I mean, every cloud. It's the only game that's off. It's 
the only game that's off, and it's me. They're coming off the back of beating Arsenal. So, I mean, we've just we've just drawn with Bolton. It's not quite the same, is it? All right, the fourth round draw. I've just skipped the fourth round draw. Uh, we'll play Sheffield United. What a prize, viewers. What a prize. Waterlog pitch. I mean, that is embarrassing, really. Because I bet uh, BT Sport or, or the BBC would have turned up as well for this. I can sense they would have done. They'd have been here. And then I've, we've turned up. And we've been rained off. Unless the Thames flooded and there's been an overflow problem. I, 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 sort of make, I'm making it up now, viewers. I don't know. All we know is it was logged full of water. That's all we know. And to be honest... We'd have probably had a better chance on a waterlog pitch. So it's a bit annoying that we've let it dry out. Bids coming in for Fitzpatrick. Jonathan Fitzpatrick? No, 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 no. I didn't buy him on a free and give him an extortionate wage so you could take him for, what, 15 grand? No. All right, then. Few problems, but some some good things as well, actually, here. So Russell is going to move forward into the central role because we've got an injury. Uh, sorry, suspension, as we say, to Fitzpatrick. Uh, Troy Fleet is going to come back in then at centre back so that that so far all fine uh, Ellison is going to come on the right hand side of things uh, midfield wise there it doesn't look great does it let's be honest unless you click it and then it make, it gets a little greener so every cloud now what I'm going to do rather than be attacking here I'm basically when we're in transitioning from, from back to front I want them to aim the ball at the head of cabbage that's going to be the key thing for everything here he's got 15 jumping reach 13 heading he's six foot five he's, he's a threat so we, we need him flicking balls onto ollie we saw a score a goal in it last time that needs to happen again below still unavailable so we can't play him cooney i guess can come on the bench for dylan instead and the rest of the side sort of in this sense anyway picks itself you could play mckinney in here and that's sort of the only move you could make but baras again he's got that little bit of ability on the ball so we're going to keep him in there uh by the way you might notice that neblet's not here um broke the loan agreement didn't i so he's gone he's he's gone just notice that packham could actually play here ahead of ralph we could move ralph to right back and play packham because guard this season has been as we sort of touched on it's been a little bit suspect all right then here we go will we be ever i mean don't predict just just watch okay i don't know any of their players they've got a player called quentin wolf which is a fantastic name benjamin molina ryan yates who's gonna who's gonna hurt us the most let's find out of course, what would be interesting here is if Everton are playing a rotated side because they don't want to risk injury or anything like that. We should probably actually do us find out if that's what's happening. And if I'm not mistaken, Ryan Yates is, yes, the best striker in the world. So that's good. Benjamin Molina, capable. She's in. Not that good. Filippo, Fer I wonder if they've got a song for him. You'd hope so, wouldn't you? Filippo Falop. Filippo Falop. Filippo Falop. Filippo Falop. Filippo Farina. 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 That's it. Farina. All right, they're really good. I mean, I've, in some of viewers, they're better than us. I mean, it's breaking. Now, we've probably got a full crowd for this. We've never played a side as big as Everton in all our years as Thames manager. The gate receipts for this could break records. Everton have bought all their fans. We've filled the ground and they filled the goal. It's 1 0 Everton, 10 minutes in. Good Evans. All right, let's go. Let's do what? I'm not going to sit back against Everton and just let them punish me, right? We're going to play nice and direct. We're going to play at a standard tempo and we're going to try and use the most of cabbage. I'm looking at you here, mate. We've got to, we've got to see something from you that player wasn't marked so far in the game look, they've had one shot one goal we've had the most of possession and this is so that if anything we're the better team here can we um can we, guys hi it's me can we do a shot please what do you mean yeah, i know you've done some can i see one for them just just for my sake just for, just for our sake really so far nothing it's a great half of football there was some one thames nil nothing now analytically uh, it's been quite even, actually. Like, we're quite open. The fact that they're only 1-0 up and there aren't any more chances in the game is pretty surprising. Right, we're going to drop them back. We're going to play us the standard 4-4-2 because rumour has it the 4-4-2 is incredibly effective, effective viewers. So here we are. If you're not using 4-4-2 in your save, um, no, you do what you want. It's not up to me, is it? So Ollie's on a booking and a 6.2. A 6.2, Ollie. All right, there's been no highlights. We're going to have to get him off. Uh, Christopher Chambers is going to come on up front to replace him. Uh, Team-wise, is there really anything else we can do? I mean, we've got we've got Blake having a pretty underwhelming game, so I guess we're going to bring on MacArthur at right back, at left back, sorry, and just see. 20 minutes to go. Can we get that premium tie at Sheffield United? 15 minutes to go. Is this some sort of joke? All right, we're going to have to just go for this now. It's the FA Cup, viewers. You've got to do... You've got to do mad, you've, when the FA Cup comes around, you've got to do mad stuff. That's just that's just one of the rules, right? Right, there's... there's, there's okay, there's, there's 15 minutes to go. We're putting the goalkeeper up for everything. If you never do this in your saves, viewers, then feel free. We get, we, pile bodies in... Get them in there. Get them in there. Goalkeeper. Forwards, right? For, all these boys. In, 
get 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 in there. Don't worry about defending right now. Get in the get 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 in there. Can't even speak, viewers. I'm so so hyped for this. Um, so right, we're doing that. Now what we're going to do is play for set of pieces. We're playing for corners. That's what we want. One corner. That's all I ask. Oh, it's a free kick to Everton. After all the all the good we've done, viewers. Can we break from this? Actually, we've got a few players in advanced areas. If we can win the ball back, although they're very patiently keeping it. Someone. Right, have I, have I not got it on? Because I'm sure we have. Yeah, can we get stuck in then, please? Can we follow instructions, team? For heaven's sake. Someone put a challenge in. They're just sort of... Oh, not like that, you idiot. Stone's going to be set off for that. You stupid. I mean... Now... Oh, if that doesn't make the football manager Reddit, then what is the point in the Reddit? Out of context FM, enjoy it. I mean, every, community, have, have fun with that. Me too, yeah, we all see... We've all... No explanation needed. Right, we've got no type. We might as well just, I mean, I'm pushing players four. I don't know what we're doing. Again, all I want is a corner. We've had three corners. Can we please? Right, I'm gonna have to, we're, go, we're going for it, aren't we? We're going for it. Get up, the, come on, target man. We're gonna have one defender. Everyone's gonna be pushed on. Barras, yep, up you go, sunshine. Here we go, right. This, if we don't score in the final three minutes, what's the point in tactics? Is there gonna be a moment? But any, anyone. Can we just see it one chance? We've got four minutes, four minutes to see something. Right, okay. My bigger question would be, there's a chance, there's a chance, there's a corner, not to us, whipped in, headed headed straight back to the player that took it, whipped in again, headed away. Cap here we now is this the highlight? Cabbage, forward to Ellison. Maybe, viewers, this is the... Well, at least at least, I can, at least I'm seeing my team playing an FA Cup game third round, you know, so it's, it's big for... I, viewers, hang on, is this not, is this over? Is this not over yet? Ellison's on the right-hand side. Put in. Oh, my goodness me. Okay. Now, we've just got to make one thing happen here in the final moments. We've got a lot of players in advanced areas. Ralph here is, is coming forward, but he's doing a lot of tackling over everything else. Cabbage now on that side to the edge of the box. Russell, Barras, go on. Oh, my God. Well, look, we've had a shot. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. We've seen us. That's full time. What a get. Wow, what an episode. So, the league's looking not particularly likely. Um... How did Everton only score one goal? So the league's not looking all that likely. The FA Cup dream, I think we all thought we were going to win it, so I can only apologise, uh, is now over. Um, it's one of them, isn't it? It's one of them. The guy that scored their goal as well is, is really good. Makes me really sad. 10 grand for that. Is that it, really? 10 grand. Was it good for gate receipts? How's the money looking? It was about 100 grand, I think. So we're laughing, viewers, all the way to £600,000 worth of debt. That then is going to conclude today. It wasn't It was less, It wasn't short of incident, was it? I'll see you tomorrow for some more. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye. It's been... It's it's, it's, um, it's a frustrating atmosphere, viewers. It's a... Uh, Liquid Marbella. That's the stream saying.